King Lotor! <laughs> ah, there you are. I've heard rumors that your people possess certain information about Voltron. His instruction manual, if you will. You're going to give it to me. I was hoping it would come to this. your brother again call me back bitch there you are i've been waiting for you in the hangar for an hour why aren't you uh-oh you're click clacking what's wrong little buddy i'm worried about chip your brother yeah we talk every year on intergalactic ninja appreciation day but i can't get in touch with him maybe he's busy today it was a week ago and it's not just him. I can't get in touch with anyone from Balto. It's like my entire planet's gone off the grid. Let's go talk to Keith. Pitch is right. There are no transmissions coming from Balto. And for a technology-based planet, that certainly means something's off. Well, the Voltron Force protects its own. I think we should go investigate to make sure my buddy's people are okay. Wait, I'm confused. Pitch, don't you always claim to be descended from <laughs> ninjas? Yes, the entire population on my planet are ninjas. Ninja scientists. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly happen to a planet full of genius butt-kicking ninja scientists? My point exactly. Let's ride. This is creepy. Yeah, creepy cool. <laughs> it's like a ghost town. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be. Where is everybody? Maybe they're all indoors, doing sciencey things. But not all of them. This is the city square. It's usually packed this time of night. Where does your brother live? Downtown. Let's start there. Okay, follow me, guys. Whoa! Incoming! What the heck is that? Throwing stars! Your people aren't very friendly. Where are they coming from? I don't see anyone. And that's because they've got their chameleon suits activated. But why would they be in stealth mode? Whatever they're doing, tell them to knock it off! I just put a fresh coat of paint on these kitties. Something is clearly wrong here. Balto is a Voltron-friendly planet. The lions are too exposed. Let's find a more protected area and figure this out. Wait! Stop! It's too crowded in here. If we move, we'll crush them. All right, Pidge. You have a better plan? These are your people. Yeah, and something is definitely wrong with them. They're zombies! They're not zombies. We need to figure out what's happened to them. But we can't continue in the lines without crushing them. We'll have to go on foot. Wait, Pidge. We don't know if it's safe. I think they're trying to tell us something. Brains! Brains? See? They are zombies! Pitch! What the? We can't hurt them! They're still Boltons. They just must be infected with some kind of virus. Yeah, the zombie virus! 
Don't worry, Vince. I got you covered. Pidge, no offense, but if we're about to be attacked by zombies, I think I'd rather have them. No! Don't hurt them! You're welcome, Pidge. If we don't defend ourselves, what do you expect us to do, Pidge? streets, which means they're slow and dumb. Maybe they're zombies after all. They're coming to get you, Larmina. <laughs> not slow, not dumb, and not just zombies. They're ninja scientist zombies! <laughs> This is like Zombie 101. Never go into a... <sighs> so much for stocking up on supplies. Everything's locked down. Oh, man. This is bad. Well, let's get moving. If we can sneak out the rear entrance, my brother's place isn't too far from here. What was that? Uh-oh. Exploding ninja throwing stars! Awesome. We definitely gotta come back here when we're not running for our lives. There's another fun, fun teenage Couture outfit. That's like the third one I've seen. I keep seeing the same stores over and over again, too. It's like we're running in circles. It's a zombie trap. Shoppers go in, but they can't get out. Vince, it's just a mall. All malls are like this. That said, let's see if we can find that exit, Pitch. Uh, Pitch? Pitch? Not now, Vince. I'm running. Yeah, but... I know. I'm breaking like ten of the most basic rules of zombie movies. No, just one. But it's a big one. Don't get separated. Get behind me, Vince. I may not know how to stop zombies, but I know how to stop ninjas. With one throwing star? Brains? I like to call them smart stars. Ninja Licious! I know. Come on! I take it back. If we're about to be attacked by ninja scientist zombies, I think you're the man to be with. About time you figured that out. Now, let's go find my brother. We gotta find Pidge and Vince before the zombies get him. These zombies are totally weak. All they do is jump around and moan brains. Nothing to be worried about. Come on! No! That's it. We have to get back to the lions. Let's go. Vince. 
this is Chip's apartment? Yeah. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Chip's not here. Darn. Does that mean we can get back to the lines and go home? Not until I find out what's going on here. I can key my Volcom to track Chip's chameleon suit. Uh, I hate to bring this up, but Chip's not here, so doesn't that mean that he's probably a zombie too? Probably. So he's probably hanging out with all the rest of the zombie ninja scientists? Yep. And we're gonna go crash the biggest zombie party in history? Yep. Okay. Just... just want to be clear. Larmina, you take green. What would make them run away like that? Something worse than ninja zombies. Great. What could be worse than ninja zombies? Doesn't this guy ever learn? Apparently not. Goody. Long have I waited for this moment. Who talks like that? When I faced you in the past, I lacked the sufficient power to beat you. But now... Samurai Robe Slow Tour, that's actually pretty scary. I don't want to fight your lions. To defeat you at anything less than full power would be a disgrace. I believe our nemesis just requested Voltron. Then Voltron he'll get. Activate interlocks! Dino Therms connected! Infra cells up! Mega thrusters are go! Robeast has to throw at us. I don't get it. The signature from Chip's chameleon suit leads here. A dead end? Do I need to mention the fact that zombies love dead ends almost as much as malls? This isn't a dead end. It's an elevator. It's a... <laughs> Daniel would have loved that. Me? Not so much. How am I supposed to find Chip in here? What is this place? Mayhawks! What's he doing? Oh, don't talk about me like I'm not here. You may have ninja in your blood, but you sure make a noisy entrance. You make one move, and I hit the kill switch. You're smart. You can probably figure out what that does. What are you doing to my people? What does it look like? Mining their brains for information. Oh, and turning them into Hagarium-infused zombies. Small side effect. What information could the Boltons possibly have that you want? Oh, dear Pidge. Do you really not know your own people's history? 
What's he talking about? And the magic cadet. I would think you should know this too. The ancient Boltons were responsible for the original programming for your precious Voltron. What? Oh, it's so fun to educate. You want to know something else? As soon as I'm done mining this information from the depth of these brains, the Boltons will all be vegetables. And I'll know how to power down Voltron forever. Oop, that batch is done. Now, go fetch me some more brains. Well... At least they weren't going to eat our brains. No, but I imagine the brains of the Voltron Force must be useful as well. What do you think? Daniel! You're about to get the entire Brain Trust. Calling all lions! Sorry to disappoint, but your friends will not be coming to help you. They're a little preoccupied. <laughs> These moves. It's time to form great energy star. This isn't working. Voltron wasn't designed to fight in such close quarter hand to hand combat. We need a new strategy. How about a new power? What do you mean, Larmina? I mean, we gotta fight fire with fire. Take this thing on with martial arts, kung fu, capoeira, jiu-jitsu, whatever works. Great idea in theory, but as Allure just said, that just isn't in Voltron's bag of tricks. Are you sure? Because neither was the speed boost until Daniel came along and plugged in his Volcom. And? And nobody's plugged me in yet. Larmina, I appreciate your bravery, but... Keith, have you seen me do kung fu? Trust me on this. Sword fight, huh? Let's do it! Form blazing sword! Your skills are impressive, Pidge. <laughs> Reverse Hagarium effect. Come on, come on. Snark bags. <laughs> Got this. Blazing Katana! <laughs> Pwned. Flawless. Victory. Mayhawks, your stupid plan failed again. Evacuate immediately. They're coming. Reverse those brain vacuums. Come on, baby, work. <laughs> Underground brain farm. 
Turns you all into zombies. Ninjas, scientists, zombies? Oh, that's ridiculous. Tell me about it. Hunk! Long time no see! <laughs> you guys totally missed it. I plugged into Voltron and was all like, hi -ya! Oh, yeah! Racing kick! Hey, what? Mayhawks use some kind of brain vacuum to suck information out of the Baltans. Yeah, apparently Balta was involved in the programming of Voltron. Yet another planet that had a hand in its creation. Voltron's story is getting more and more interesting. So that's why Lotor was here? Trying to get information about Voltron's weaknesses? How much information was Mayhox able to collect before you shut him down? Looks like he was about halfway done. Ah, oh, that's not so bad. Right? Lotor may know things about Voltron that we don't even know. Yeah, well, if the samurai robeast is the best he can do, I say bring it on. You certainly are a fascinating giant robot, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you.